Um, hey guys, Sheree Glenn once again with Coach Billups, Coach Grice, and Coach Bird. Um, first up, gentlemen, we are going to talk about Vance and Richmond. Mm, this is the um, talking press bowl right here. <laughs> 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 both, of them, cause both of them got that chip. Both of them, you know, Richmond, they, they got the um, Richmond versus everybody. Vance got Vance versus the whole state of North Carolina. The world. The, the world. world. You know, it, <laughs> these are two dangerous teams right now. And, um, Vance offense is hitting. You know, that's that's the scary part now. Now Vance offense is clicking. And we saw what we wanted. You know, Greer using his legs now and he's throwing the ball. So, and, you know, that defense, you don't know, you know, I don't know. I'm not going to pick one. I read somewhere where um, Pep said he don't make prediction. I'm not making prediction. It's two bears. And they got a piece of steak in the middle, and they left on battle. I don't know who to win this one, but I wouldn't be shocked at this low score. Like, I won't be shocked because Richmond like to run that run, and after watching that Mars Park versus Richmond, that run game would really took him to that next level mm -hmm. and then that controversy call. But you know, yeah, no, I agree with you. I mean, I think you know, I think I read a stat that Vance's defense hasn't allowed. I think the outside of the twenty-one point game. In the third round versus Huff, they've allowed, I think, 13 or less to all of their opponents in the last two years. I mean, mm -hmm. you're talking names like Wake yeah. Forest had seven. Mallet Creek, of course, with very little. Butler with zero. Myers Park, I think it was with 13, maybe. I think it was. 21-13, yeah. yeah. I think it was the final last yeah. year. Yeah. I mean, we're not listing schools here yeah. that, that aren't, you know, these are the blue bloods of, of the state. So, I mean, when you look at that the last two years, I mean, you have no choice but to say it's going to be a low-scoring game. I mean... I, to me, this is the usual suspects bowl. I mean, I think you're going to get, you know, on offense, you're going to get, you know, Hood, you're going to get Covington, you're going to get Stroman, you're going to get those, you know, those names are going to be the names that are going to have to do it from the Richmond side. And then conversely, from, from the Vance side, you're going to get Greer, you're going to get Thompson, Morris, you know, Power on the, on the defensive side, Lowry. I mean, I, I think this isn't one of those games that is much of a secret. I mean, you know what they're going to do offensively for Richmond. You know what Vance is going to do defensively. You know who they're going to lean on. So whose side can really, you know, can really execute the best? I mean, I think you compare, you know, the, the Morris-Thompson side versus the Hood-Covington side, you know, matchup. Which one of those, you know, those tandems can have the better success in this game? I think that's, you know, that's what it's going to be. But, I mean, both of these teams, you got to stop calling each other underdogs. You're not underdogs anymore. This is the original <laughs> final. We can't be versus everybody. Everybody doubting you. Nobody's doubting anybody anymore. Yeah. You both have a legitimate shot to, to take care of business. Uh, yeah, like like Coach said, like, uh, can't call each other an underdog anymore. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it's – I don't think nobody's surprised that Vance is back in this situation. Uh, no. If you are, then you haven't been paying attention the last last few years to them. Uh, man, defense versus uh, you know offense, quote unquote, is what this game kind of is. Uh, you know, kind of like a, a Rams Patriots of last year type deal. Everybody wants. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Rams. Right here. Uh, you know, man, it, it's it's really impressive what that Vans defense has been doing, man. Like, and to do it uh, on the road for the whole entire playoffs, that's super impressive. You know, if they come out of this back in the state title game, man, like they deserve it. Cause to be on the road for four straight weeks against like Jose Blue Bloods of the state, like you didn't mm -hmm. play nobody, you played four teams that mm -hmm. all of us could could get to catch L's to. So. This will be probably one of the most impressive runs I've seen in a while. Um, I'm, I'm interested to see how, if Richmond can score on them. Like, you know, I mean, that yeah. defense, they're very prideful about not giving up points. I mean, you got that at, that front seven is crazy. You know, yeah. it sings and Armstrong and Power and Stephon and Solomon Sutton, all these guys, and, you know, moving Mark Rulacher to safety. And just yeah. all the things. They, they have everything you want for me as a defensive guy, like, yeah. you know, at every level of their defense. And, you know, Richmond, offensively, you know, they got what you want. They got a great backfield with the quarterback and the running back. They can both run. Mm -hmm. uh, dangerous threats. They got a receiver that can, you know, get it done. He'll find them openness. he find that. He'll, he'll say, yeah. oh, you cannot run yeah. zone against yeah. Richmond. Yeah. You cannot. Yeah. He got the arm to throw the ball. That's what made Hood so yeah. dangerous. Oh, for sure. Yeah. He, he, they'll zone read you straight down the field, and then all of a sudden, Throw a dart. Throw a dart. Like, good gracious, you know. So. Yeah, and I think that last, I think it was one of the last plays or on that last drive against Myers Park with 
hood rolling, you know, kind of to the short side, and then all of a sudden making that yeah, throw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He could take Kim first play. down. That you know, just that Great just that, to me that was it, it was yeah. it was just showed you the type of danger, the true two way so danger. You're worried about him taking off as a runner, and now he's going to pull it up and get and, a big and, first down. And yeah. to do that, and and you know, in one play, just really showed you. And I mean, even too, I mean, I actually talked with you know with Coach Camp out there at Richmond yeah. County. I mean, I, their DB showed up. I mean, I think their defense played well against a, a Myers Park team that had been scoring on everybody. Oh yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I thought they, you know, they came, you know, came to play. They really showed up, you know, and, and showed that they were there for the challenge. I mean, honestly, you know, Richmond County again. This has been, you know, we talk about Vans versus the world. It's been Richmond County versus Charlotte. I mean, yeah. they've really yeah. taken the task. These Charlotte teams that have come there. I mean, first, like I said, with with Huff, and then taking care, you know, of Myers Park, and now getting Vans. Um, you know, it's still trying to figure this out. I mean, you're know, looking at the Vance games they've played. It's been a difference, honestly, between the IMEC you know teams that Vance has played, and then you know the the non IMEC teams. And I mean, for me, thinking about the Butler game to an extent, scoring 21 points with the offense, the offense playing a non IMEC mm-hmm. team in West Forsyth, putting up 35. And you know, one of the things as I w- watched back through that game was, oh. Wow, you know, this is what an offense looked like against, you know, uh, one of those, you know, teams that doesn't have a great defense. I think Richmond's defense is much better than West Forsyth for sure, but that's going to be one of those things. Can can they maintain that physicality for four quarters against a Vance team who's shown time and time again that they're here ready for it all? So, yeah, it's going to be that, fun. That, that's a big thing. Like, like I look at Richmond, and, and one thing I just from watching them the last few weeks, I know is the atmosphere here. It's so yeah, crazy. Yeah. Like, I haven't been up there, but just watching it, the live streams, yeah. you know, they got the light show going on, and it's crazy. Yeah, it's great. First you time know. I saw them lights, I lost my mind. Oh, man. <laughs> like, yeah, for a 15, 16-year-old, you're like, oh, you're like, whoa, what's going on? Like, you know. Yeah. And, you know, I hear the fans sometimes sit on your wayside. All, all oh, these man. things can yeah, play yeah. into a fat game. The thing don't I will that. say. Don't do that. This no, Friday. this is what I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. All I was going to say is this. I make if there's any the team field. I think that's better suited to deal with yeah. all these yeah. factors. Yeah. Don't do it. I think Vance is real I, so I make tough good. does extend past the play. I, I, I did. <laughs> I put the one out there Friday and said, please. I saw that Mallet Creek. It got ugly. Yeah. I was an old yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, you know, that whole West Side shot came out, baby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but, I mean, honestly, I mean, do we feel like that that home field advantage plays an impact here? I mean, I, I, I do, in a certain extent, I do, like, you know, like, um, I mean, if you're not ready to go play in that type of environment, I think it can be, you know, testing. But the fact that you look at the they've been on the road for yeah. three straight weeks. Now, I don't so. think yeah. I don't think it's good with phase this team, but yeah, I will tell y'all after the game, the players were excited to go play at Richmond. Yes, yeah. so they they're looking that's good. To. No, that's good, and, and and I don't think anybody's, you know, I mean, come on, man, Vans go up here and win this game. Nobody is surprised. No, like nobody's mm-hmm. surprised one bit. Uh, I'm I'm glad they've, they've hit the groove. You know, of course, it's always great to have an IMIC representative in that role, being mm-hmm. an IMIC uh, brethren, but. Uh, I don't know, man. Like Richmond's still Richmond. Like they're, they're a good team, and I've got the chance to watch them more mm-hmm. the last few weeks. Yeah. And I and I'm in just as impressed with them, especially from the offensive standpoint. And, and that was one game I, t- I remember when they played up, talking to Chachi, and like he was saying, man, he was like, man, we just stopped him from running the ball. We felt like we could be okay. Yeah. And mm-hmm. like he said, like he told me, he thought it was a couple runs, big runs they were able to manage in that game. Yeah. That was the difference in that game, and right. you know. So but they, you gotta look at that one. Even when, when they played Hub, I didn't know that until I saw him post on Twitter. I was like, "Why is Storm posting?" Yeah, that was big. No, nah, that was big. They didn't have their best yeah. linebacker yeah, right that's there. Big. Mm-hmm. And yeah, then that's you big. know, my Parker. Don't yeah. Hate what I'm about to say. My Parker got caught doing stupid stuff. That's all it is. They old line. I said it on um, last on um, Monday. If that old line don't show the play. And then them receivers, you know, other than the Porter Rooks. And Bly, you know, them the only one that really show up. You know, no offense to Moose. Moose, he just dropped, he made, he made that big drop right there. And um, they would kill, Porter would kill them corners at um, Richmond County. You know, Richmond County corners did play, they played great, but they were getting smoked. But, you know, they were getting, they were getting, you know. He's high level talent. Yeah, so. You know, yeah. So it's yeah. tough, you know, he made that back shoulder catch. I said, Jesus, you know, I, yeah. he didn't have to do that against us. He just tore my poor little softball. <laughs> <stuff. laughs> Yeah, as a football guy, the thing that makes me excited about games like this, um, mm-hmm. you hear a lot, like when, when talent is equal, yes. scheme yeah. becomes so much yeah, bigger yeah, a deal. Yeah. It's like, 
you know, and of course the physicality too. Yeah. That becomes a big yeah. deal. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but so, so, so talking about scheme, we got two dual threat quarterbacks here. We seen man, it's so Greer tough. Defense defense. Tough. It's so I tough. Think, I think Greer has grown up a lot. Especially now. Yeah, no choice. Yeah, no yeah, choice. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, you look at those last few games, it's, it's you know, it's one of those things where he's got to grow up. I mean, mm-hmm. looking at advance, even last year under a different off, you know, different offensive coach, different kind of different scheme here, and these big games, and I saw it with Wes Forsyth, that early shot is going to tell the tale. I mean, you yeah, think about yeah, it against yeah. Wake with Nair. I mean, I think that was the first one to let yeah. me know. That's the first mm-hmm. moment that game. Say, so, okay, like. Vance is here, and, and, yeah, 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 yeah. and Vance is taking that step. West Forsyth, that was the the first big, you know, that strike on the first play first of the game play. to let you know and say, okay, this yeah. is what it's going to be, an interception not too long after by Lowry. Okay, effectively, you know what's going to happen the rest of the game. Yeah. So that first shot early on by, you know, by Vance is going to tell the tale, especially with a, you know, a team that's probably going to come out a little, you know, run-based or you know, run-heavy early on. Yeah. Can they get that down the field to Payne, Lowry, to one of those yeah. you know, the guys that get a jump start, and even Armstrong, if – you know, he's playing on the offensive side of the ball to really get that going and the show and take that early lead on the road. He don't take a shot. Oh, you got to. You have to to, to silence this crowd. And he's not the same quarterback. You know, we played him when he was at South Met, you know. Oh, he's yeah. much different. He's different. Yeah. You know, when he – when he, I'll be the first – see, everybody don't like to be on. When I first heard he was going advance, I laughed. I said, oh. I said, he ain't ready. And then when I saw that at season start, I said, I said, that boy changed, boy. I said, he's in danger. I said, he over there with them gorillas. And you know, oh, yeah. you got to deal with Coach Hackett all day in practice, yelling at you and screaming the energy. Get the guy right there, shout out to my boy Hackett. Yeah. Best defense in the state right now. I see you. <laughs> like, like you talked about with, with dual threat QBs, what makes it tough defensively is, you know, you, you can, you're can kind of outmanned yes. at times. Because yeah. Yeah. even if you're in an eight man front, when the quarterback starts running the ball, you still out. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean. And that's so, what happened with um, Hood's big run. It's yeah, like, it's just tough, man. Sweet. It's yeah, tough. Yeah, right right early seventy yard run to start. I mean, that's yeah, gonna be of course a big thing there too. And, and the yeah. first, the first time I really understood, like you know, quarterback run game, how to defend it. Shout out to Miles Aldridge, my old uh, head coach. Mm-hmm. Uh, we went, he was at Huff, and like he said to me, like you know, well, if you're playing a six man box, and the quarterback start running the ball, it's really seven on six. Yeah. And I was like, mm-hmm. oh. Yeah. Yeah. Touche. <laughs> you know what I mean? you know? So that's what makes it tough defensively. Like, you know, you got to try to figure out how do we keep them from throwing deep balls all game, but still keep, you know, two from hurting us on the run. And, yeah. you know, it, it's a delicate balance. It's tough. But, yeah. you know. and, and speaking of delicate and balance, I mean, how are you going to, how many times are you going to run this quarterback yeah. against Vance's yeah, defense? Yeah, yeah. Like, that's true too. I haven't oh, seen a quarterback run the ball, too. you know, 15, 20 times that's against true. Vance's defense and live to tell mm-hmm. about it, you know, in that regard. So, I don't know if that's something that you're going to engage, especially with a guy that does have that talent throwing the ball. So mm-hmm. I'll be curious to see the ratio of, of how many times he's taking those QB runs versus giving the ball to Covington, who's you know just as good in his own right. Mm-hmm. But against a, a tough defense like this with size and being yeah. truly physical, that's not something you want to do. And the same for Greer. I mean, you know, I remember that just him walk, kind of having to walk off the field gingerly against Mallet Creek in that game. And we, I think we talked about it together after that he just took a pounding. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, in that game, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You know, so I'm back. I, yeah, no, and and that was the thing. So I mean, you know, we'll see what happens with the QB runs, and even though they are dual threat, these are two of probably the best defenses either have faced. So mm-hmm. can you keep that up and still maintain the responsibilities yeah. of your position? And you also got real Richmond got another back too, and he came in like halfway yeah. through the game. It was a good call by the OC. I don't even know who the OC from. Um, uh, Brad Denson. And he, and he's, he's a genius. Like he, yeah. took, when he, at first when he took cover down, I was like, why are you taking him out? You yeah. know, and he started. He faked that um, re option one time with um, Hood, mm-hmm. and what's God came back on that counter? Oh, uh, thirty one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes. That kid had a big run against Mars Park. You know, he did, like I said, you just it was bend but no, don't break against mm-hmm. Mars Park and. They're, they're tested, you know, that's the second time Richmond County been down at home, so, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. they were down against Huff, they came uh-huh. back, they were down against Mars Park, Mars Park had their foot on their neck, you know, they, they were finna go about three touchdowns yeah, at one point. 21-7, and yeah. 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 yeah, and then, you know, it just, you saw May become a, a real high school quarterback, he started mi- missing throws that he normally would make, and then people like myself, who had coached against him, you were like, why you didn't do this when you played us, you know, we were kind of upset, but... <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, one thing I will say though, if Vance gives him up twenty one seven, I don't see that comeback happening. No, I, I'll put it that way. It's, it's a different. It's, it's a different tough. team. Yeah, yeah. Vance twenty one seven is like forty two seven, and <laughs> and, <laughs> and then you got team. and then you got also saw you saw Mars Park defense do something they never done. They got out. They they start arguing when they start coming back. Richmond County start coming back. They start yelling at each other and stuff like that. You don't see that with that bench. You know, they, they'll well, go see, for the That's fight. a good point right there. We talk about being battle tested yeah. and going through those kind of wars. And if yeah. he hadn't been through that, you don't know yeah. how you're going to Fighting react. through adversity. Yeah. yeah. It's a big deal. It's yeah. a big yeah. deal in the you course know, of a game. So, you know, you got that hard nosed coaching staff. You got Coach Lash, Coach um, Sneed, um, Coach Furby, you know. Hackett, everybody know what kind of crazy person Hackett is, but that that team's not gonna break. You know, that's the one thing about Vance. You gotta you gotta kill him. So, you know, I love Campo. Campo's a good friend of mine. Coach Till's good people. I talk to him all the time. Uh, it's gonna be a battle. And I think they, you know, talking Campo, he want to show that his defense is better than Vance defense. And I say, hey, don't be tough. Um, <laughs> Well, we'll, check it, yeah. we'll, we'll be there, and uh, if y'all want to come along, just let me know. We got a couple seats in the car. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Uh, hey, you got choices. Uh, I'm I'm doing choices. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.